The storm is starting, I'm Electrocute, and today I'm reviewing Super Smash! Yes, announcer, I get it. It's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Right here. And just to tell you something, I have only played Super Smash Brothers. Uh, the last time I've played Super Smash Brothers is since Brawl, so. Maybe I haven't had that much experience recently, but, you know, I guess it's more than not having played a game before. You know what the funny thing is? Smash Ultimate is rated E for everyone. And this game is rated T for teen. Why? I have no idea. On the back of the box, it says, Crude Humor. I don't know where that was, but okay. Apparently that was in the game. Yeah, and I know I might technically be doing this video late in some people's eyes, but I consider it doing it early, honestly, because DLC hasn't even come out yet, and that's going to be five characters, which I'm going to try and not talk about in this video, simply because of the fact that there's literally no point. I mean, at least I can talk about the Piranha Plan, am I right? Yeah, but anyway, let's talk about this game and see if it truly deserves the title of the Ultimate Smash Brothers. Okay, so before I talk about the main Smash mode, I have to mention that not everything from the previous Smash Brothers games are in this one. While there are 103 stages in the game, that's still not enough to include every stage from all the previous games. In fact, most of the non-included stages come from the previous games on 3DS and Wii U. You think that they would get priority for being the most recent, but apparently not. There do seem to be a few missing items, the main one I can think of being the fan, but there doesn't seem to be all that many. Some other small things missing from the game are the home run contest, and there's only one mini game in the classic mode, which I found to be a bit interesting, since the classic mode has always seemed to be getting smaller every single game. I thought they would make it a bit bigger from this one, and include a lot of the modes from the previous games, but apparently not. But anyway, now let's get into the main Smash mode. Okay, so obviously the normalist of the normal Smash modes first. Uh, most of this section is just going to be talking about a lot of the stuff that you can find in many of these other modes, but I still need to talk about all that stuff at some point, so might as well do it right now. Okay, and right off the back, this is something new that we haven't seen in uh, any other Smash game. You can now create rule sets, which you can save instead of having to reset what you want every single time. Which I think is pretty awesome, honestly, since you can get pretty creative in these games, uh, how you want to customize your matches, and it just makes it easier to customize them simply because of the fact that you don't have to recreate your preferred setting every single time. Okay, and for the three modes that you can use, you can have time, stock, and also stamina battles. For which time you can only set the time limit, in stock you can set the amount of stocks and time limit. And in stamina matches you can not only set the stamina, but you can also set the amount of stocks now, which in any other Smash game hasn't actually been a possibility, you've only ever been able to have one stock in a stamina match, which 
I think should have been added a long time ago, but hey, it's here, and it is still a cool feature. And of course, you still have time limit to choose from. Okay, just to mention it, there was once a mode called Coins, and it was even in the last game, but I don't think anybody even really played that one all that much. I've tried it out myself because it was also in Brawl, but I don't know, it just seemed kind of weird. You hit your opponents and coins come out of them and you need to collect them. Eh, I don't know, and it doesn't seem to be just me that have had that opinion. It, a lot of people have just never seen to play that mode or really care all that much, so... I guess that's why it doesn't make an appearance in this one. So, FS meter, or more correctly Final Smash meter, is now in the game. It's something that many players have wanted for a long time. You can gain meter by getting hit mostly, but you do get a small amount for dealing damage as well. Once it is fully charged, you get a weaker version of your Final Smash. It can definitely be used to catch up in a match if you're at high percent. If you die with the full charge of the meter, it is depleted 25% instead of being completely gone, which can help you get it again faster, but in a match where everybody has it, you might lag behind slightly because of it. Okay, so spirits. This would be a pretty big topic to handle right now, but just know that they offer a lot of variety, and also they're a very big thing in this game. They're very prevalent. With the CPU level option, you can automatically set the level of every CPU that you want. You can still adjust them, but it's just what it automatically puts it to if you add in the CPU. You can have them all the way from level 1 to automatically level 9. The damage handicap option starts off players every round at a potentially different percentage other than 0. You cannot have this option on. You can have it auto which determines how much percentage a person needs to be equal to everybody else. Or you can just have it on and set it to whatever you want. There are many different options for stage selection. You can have anybody choose a stage which really just lets everybody fight over the pointer to see what stage they choose. You can have each player take a turn on choosing a stage. You can have the loser always pick the next stage. You can have each stage go in order which if you have preferred stages, you know, since there are 103, you know, it might take a while to cycle through all of them. And you have a complete auto random option, a battlefield and omega only, and also a battlefield only form, as well as an omega only. This is all of the items that are in the game. It would take quite a lot of time to go through each one of them, even just to talk about all the new ones. Like I said earlier, not everyone from every game in Smash history is here, but as you can see, there's quite a lot. Uh, aside from the fact that there are a few new ones, they actually have put them into a specific order in the fact that you have the final smash at the beginning helping things right after it then you have the combining items the carrying which is literally only this one have the exploding pushing uh, recovery items and you have a lot of different types as well like transforming battling throwing just a lot of different stuff with the random stage selection, it, it's pretty simple. You can just simply select what stages you want to randomly show up in the random stage selection. So, technically at that point you aren't making it truly random, but you know, some stages just shouldn't ever be played. I wonder which ones. You now have the ability to turn on and off stage hazards for any stage automatically. 
you can now turn on and off team attack so you can hurt both your own teammates and enemies you, you can even change the launch rate now for any match you can set it lower or as high as you want up to two times the normal you can set it to where if a player is losing whatever that exactly means I don't know they will receive some assistance you can have that on or off I don't know exactly what the assistance is but you know it's assistance uh, you can now even turn off the ability to pause during a match alright you can turn on and off the score display next to your characters I don't know why this isn't a default uh, but okay show damage is also an on or off option now yet again I don't exactly see why this is needed but alright if you don't want to see the percentage cool alright let's just hop into this random game mode right here and you know what I'm not even sure if I can talk about the stages cuz you know 103 just that you know all of them you know you just battle on them they're mostly just surfaces and stuff like that really there are sometimes special things that happen on these that uh, make them far more different than any of the other ones like stage hazards obviously but you can turn those off now but you know I just can't I can't do this there's no way I can even choose which stages you might say the same thing about me choosing characters but you know what I asked some people and they said who they wanted me to review I'm going to re review a few of the characters that I personally have used before but Anyway, let's just get into a few of the characters right now. Of course, I can't do all of them, obviously. Alright, so Piranha Plant, the Bloom of Your Doom. And no, I did not make that line up. Uh, if it is in the game somewhere, you just need to find it. But anyway, even though this is pretty much a DLC character by now, I will, of course, talk about him because he's the newest one. But... Anyway, let's just get on to the specials, since I think that's all that's left. Okay, so neutral special is just this spiny ball that you do this with. It's not the only thing that you can do. If you press a movement direction, you toss it. And the thing is, you think the higher it is, the farther it would go. But it actually goes comparatively less fast. You have to wait for it to come down, and then you shoot it out really far and really quickly okay yeah if you if you press down you or if you press down and the down and B button at the same time you do that but it doesn't only go upwards you can actually change the direction by just moving the just by moving the movement thing and you just launch in a different direction hold on can you crouch and just yeah it's far easier to just crouch and then do it and one of the most over well that is kind of overpowered a lot of the things that piranha plant can do are pretty dang good like you know what let's just get into this before the poison he can do this which I, you've obviously seen he has pretty good recovery because of it and I really have no idea how to do stuff off stage I'm just really trying to emphasize how little I know about actually playing this game well, to be honest. But anyway, uh, last thing is his side B, his side special, which is to charge up poison. You don't need to charge it all the way, but sometimes it's hard to use before you fully release it. It's slightly smaller, but it doesn't actually do any less damage. But anyway, when you release it, watch his percent. Yeah, if they stay in that smoke, they get damaged extremely. Very, very, very powerful. Yeah, I couldn't release it there even though I did side B. Maybe you can't do it in the air, but anyway. Yeah, that's a lot of percent, and I don't even... I'm not even sure if that was all the way, but... 
Anyway, yeah, Piranha Plant. Pretty cool character, if you ask me. And Waboosh. Alright, so let's just talk about my main character here for a second, Link. This probably isn't going to go ev any faster, even though I know this character. Maybe not like the back of my hand, because I'm still not a pro, but anyway. So, special moves. Arrow. I didn't know he could shoot these in the air, but it doesn't help all that much. But anyway, arrows. They're pretty powerful long-range projectiles, actually. I just love using them. <laughs> Man, why am I sneezing so much today? But anyway, they can be charged up to deal even more damage. Uh, one of the things that I really like to do with them is just sniping people off the stage once they're already far off, like over here. And I just get them with the arrow and shoot them finally off, even though they wouldn't have gone off. Even though it's normally pretty hard to do that, you know. And these CPUs won't let me do that because that's not how they work when they don't move. But anyway. Okay, side B is just the boomerang. It does deal slightly more damage, and you can definitely have some cool trick shots with it, like this, it'll hit Daisy, come from behind, and actually deal... Wait, did it deal more damage? Hold on, I think it might have actually, by coming back, hold on. Did, eh, I guess not, maybe it's just weird. I don't know how the damage always works, it seems to be consistent, but sometimes it's not. At least in my opinion. But anyway... Uh, let's just, um, what's next? What's next? Uh, down B? Oh yeah, the bomb. I don't even know how to use the bomb. <laughs> yeah, you throw it. Like this. And then you press down B again, I guess? Alright. And yes, I have tried to use the bomb before, and I've just never been able to use it all that great. And I like how the audience just gasps every single time Peach gets, I mean Daisy, gets back. Oh yeah, there. There's an example. There's a perfect example right there. But anyway. I, the last thing is his up special, which is just this when he's on the ground. I don't really use this one that often. Not a pro player. Trying to get that across. Because this move, for all I know, is really useful. And it does that. <laughs> and if you use it in the air, though, it's not a good recovery move. Let's see how much damage it deals, though, because honestly, I have no idea. Eh, it deals an okay bit of damage. Not a whole lot, but not too little, I guess. But anyway, I think that's everything for Link, so let's move on to somebody else. Alright, this is probably going to be the last character I'm going to do, because it's going to take a while to put more characters into the thing. It's just going to make the video longer. But anyway, I have to have the one that won the popularity thing in the video, Yoshi. So... The funny thing that I've found with Yoshi as I've been playing around with him is that his tongue is very deadly. It doesn't just put you into an egg, oh no. If you turn somebody into an egg and they have a certain percentage and they go off stage, it can actually make them die. Because if you don't break out of it quick enough, you'll just do that. It's It might not happen to most people. Probably pro, pro players have a way of getting out of that, you know, but it's still pretty, it, I, I don't know, it just seems super weird to be caught in an egg and just end, falling toward your own doom. Alright, so, neutral special is the tongue, yum, okay, and yeah, side is turning into an egg for a little while. It's actually, I think it's kind of, Kind of like Jigglypuff's rollout, but it's even more controllable than that. And it is, like, instantly controllable, I think. Like, or at least more quickly controllable. And it def doesn't move as fast. I'm not sure if it deals as much damage, but 
Since you can hit with it multiple times, or at least multiple people, it, oh jeez, might actually die here, but, yeah, it seems like it definitely has the potential to do more damage than that. Up special. Oh yes, the eggs. He throws them. Throws the eggs. They have a pretty long arc, actually, not like what, what I, and the explosion doesn't even deal damage. Okay, so, you apparently have to be in a pretty good position to hit people with these. And they don't even, oh jeez, that was alright. Uh, yeah. So, you have to be in a pretty good position to hit people with the eggs, if I can even get them to trigger. Anyway. Uh, I think the final one is the down special. Does he have a down special? Not sure if he does. Oh, he, has, he does that. Why is it so hard to trigger? Oh, you can only do the down special in the air. Alright. And it's just a ground pound. Might be hard to do on this map. But I'll try and do it right here. Okay, that, that didn't work. Anyway. Um... Is there anything else? Is there another special that... Okay, that's that's obviously the same. Is there anything different in the air? Like, what's his up air in the air? Okay, it's still the egg. But anyway, yeah, I think that's everything for Yoshi. The first time using him, uh, the egg doesn't seem all that great, but everything else uh, doesn't seem too fantastically powerful, but he doesn't seem to be weak by any standard. It, at least in my opinion, like, I keep on saying this, what do I know, I'm not a pro. Anyway, that's the characters. Probably not going to do any more, but if I do, you're going to see them, obviously. Alright, so, squad strike mode. It's actually pretty simple, to be completely honest with you. If you go into the edit menu, you just see that there's one slight thing here that makes a huge difference in this mode. Uh, the first thing that you, well, you have three immediate modes that feature these when you get into here. But anyway, let's go through them. Tag team, after a fighter is KO, the next fighter will appear to help you, I guess. So, like, if you're defeated, your next, you have to use the next fighter. I haven't played a whole lot of this mode, so... At least not recently, so I might not remember. So I think that's how it works. So, yeah, defeated, and you have to move on to the next guy. Uh, the winner will start a new battle with the next opponent. Elimination. After a fighter is KO'd, the next fighter will appear seamlessly. Oh, okay. I... I Okay, I think I get it, sort of. Is, is that a real difference? All of them on a single thing? Like, each stock is a different character, or... I don't get that, honestly. What does that... What is that difference? Is there a new battle with the next opponent? Yeah, maybe to me it just sounds the same, I don't know. Yeah, it just seems a little weird to me. I, I can't tell what the difference is there. And I've played, I've played a tiny bit of this, so I at least kind of know some stuff, but I don't know what the difference is there. Best of each pair of fighters is matched up, the winner doesn't stay in, so... Does that mean, like... If you win, <laughs> I'm sorry if my my lack of knowledge, but I'm trying to think of what all of this is. Is this uh, I'm what I'm guessing that is is that uh, if you lose the first fight, win the second fight, and third fight, then you'll have two fighters to fight against the first person, and it just doesn't move on immediately. But that's how I guess that works. But I don't know these other two. That, the text really doesn't seem to describe the difference down there. Maybe I'm not getting it. Seems like you can read that. But maybe that's just me being dumb. It's getting kind of late. But anyway, 
yeah. You have the stage selection here, which you don't have in all of these modes in Smash. Uh, I I can't. Yeah, I I just looked at it and I can't even remember. I'm, I'm recording all of this out of order. But anyway, yeah, there's one of the modes here that doesn't have the stage selection. And you get to go to a 5 on 5 or a 3v5 uh, here. And, well, I don't have a friend here, obviously, especially since it's this late. Yeah, you just choose your characters in order, and then you choose the opponent's characters in order, and that's just how it works. It's I, I'm not sure what else to say. I've probably been blabbering on here, but yeah. Relatively simple, but for some reason I just wasn't able to ex figure out that one thing, whatever that is. So, yeah, that's the, that's the mode. Alright, so, tourney mode. I know this was in Brawl, and it was probably in the last game, but for some reason I never tried it. Maybe it wasn't as good, but <laughs> I literally just never tried it. In this game, you can have up to, hold on, uh, yeah, 32 different participants, and... You can also have them be just any number of CPUs, hold on. Because, I, I'm going to have them all be CPUs because I just need to show you something. And, of course you have these different forms of doing it. You can have all two times battles, one four times at the beginning and then the rest are two. You can have a four at the end and a two in the middle and four at the beginning or... You can have a 4-4, a four, four, too. I, I think it changes. Well, yeah, it obviously changes uh, with the number of people that you have. But hold on. Let me see if I have an odd number like 13. Give me just a second. Because I think that you can have 3... Yeah, it does allow you to do three-on-three three battles, so it's just in specific circumstances. It really just depends on how many you choose, what options it gives you. But, yeah, it will always just take people out, because it only has a certain number of options, so like most of these are except for one's going to be a two-on-two two instead. Yeah, so I guess three-on-threes are mainly just to get rid of, uh, I guess the odd number of people so they can get to the evens again I really don't know but anyway I do need to show you something in this uh, like how, well, how the CPU work thing works here because if you don't want to see the CPUs fight each other if it comes down to a CPU versus a CPU hold on let's just do this really quickly um, yeah, ready. Let's -a go. If you don't want to see the CPUs fight, it's actually pretty easy to skip them. In fact, it's the immediate option. And yes, I can just, like, skip all of these pretty quickly. So yeah, if it's an all CPU, you can press yes just to completely skip it, because apparently the computer is able to calculate the winner instantly. And no, it's not just determining it random from at least as far as I know. For as far as I can tell, it's not random. But anyway, yeah, let's just... You know what, I think I'm just gonna stop it here, because, you know, this is gonna take a while, and as I'm skipping through this, it's just gonna... Yeah, take too long. And anyway, I'll see you in the other mode when I get done with this but yeah tourney so let's look at the special smash mode and three things here uh, super sudden death uh, maybe it's just me but eh, you know there doesn't seem to be all that much here that's super different I mean it, it even tells you the things that are 
only force the super sudden death by the 300% there. It tells you the exclusive features. Uh, I don't think not any of the advanced stuff even changes for any of these, but anyway, Bob Bomb's dropping, which is, you know, not one of the main features of this, but you know, you can have the Bomb Bombs dropping once the screen finishes shrinking, apparently. Or, well, no, that's off, or... Yeah, it's a, that's what it does. Never mind. I thought the on option would say something different. Um, yeah, screen shrink. So, yeah, it would really only just be setting yourself to three hundred percent automatically if the screen didn't shrink because of the fact that, well, I mean, if that's just what sudden death is and there's not really any other option in any other mode to have the screen shrink and funnily enough it obviously makes sense but the bub bombs actually the bub bombs option disappears when you turn it to off that's interesting not really anything different on any of the other menus for this one same with smash down but this one is a bit more interesting in the fact that each time you in this mode you choose a character you can't ch you can't choose them again until someone finally claims the victory you can do up a, to a maximum of 36 battles here not sure if that's enough to use up every single character but it isn't even exclusive to one person if somebody chooses a character that's gone for everybody so yeah you have 1 to 36 battles. Not gonna calculate out how many characters are in this game, and if it is all of them, especially with the DLC characters coming, it'd just be weird to think about. But anyway, Mercy rule. I don't think I've ever, you know, heard. Well, there's probably something in Smash Brothers that has said Mercy before, but I don't know. That just. I don't know how to describe how that makes me feel, but <laughs> anyway, mercy rule. Uh, what it does is that even if somebody has the doesn't have a chance of winning, if you have it off, they'll still have to keep on playing. But if of course you have it on, uh, if it's impossible for the other players to win, and somebody will win no matter what, you just automatically win yeah those are the only two special things here the main thing uh, it seems to be arranged a bit differently oh yeah the me fighters aren't here that's actually a bit strange I didn't notice that before I don't think that would be the same on the 300% though maybe I'm wrong I'll just quickly check here wouldn't make any sense but alright yeah, select stage. Yeah. Where do you even select the stages in the other one? I don't know. Do you select stages? I'm not going to test that out because I don't want to get into a battle while I'm recording here, but... Yeah, it's kind of weird because in this game you select stages first before you select characters, so... Special Smash... Eh, they probably could have added in more here, but I mean, I don't think what I remember from Brawl, it was all that different, really. Maybe they have even more stuff here. Maybe they have slightly less. If you can change the camera to this, how annoying would that be? Fixed? Okay, fixed, honestly, would probably be just as bad, maybe even worse, but speed. I like how it also changes their idle animations. That's funny. <laughs> okay. And weight, light, heavy. It's kind of weird, the weight thing, because... I don't know. I don't know what's weird about the weight to me in this game. It's not that I think all the characters have bad weights or anything, but... I don't know, it just seems like weight 
is kind of a stat that I can't remember what other stat it is, but it seems very similar to another one. I can't remember. But if, uh, statuses, curry, nonstop curry fire breath, <laughs> or reflecting all projectiles, and these aren't just like the items. This is literally just non-stop versions of the two different items that you can just have as your status, so. I wonder how, you know what, I'm not even going to try and think about it. It'd probably just endly, endlessly bounce if everybody reflected projectiles, because I'm pretty sure that this just applies for everybody in the game, and you can't turn it on and off for specific people, which isn't something I've thought about before, and you know what, that would be cool. And you want to know what I've just realized? The metal character, ugh. The eyes change instantly, but everything else doesn't. It looks really creepy. But anyway, the metal characters don't actually look all that great compared to the originals. Not that they look bad, but you know, they're just metal. Oh yeah, the thing, it's, okay, the thing that I was thinking about is Turning yourself metal in this game just makes it harder to get knocked back, but I don't think... Or, or... Wait, does it increase your weight? I can't remember what exactly does, because I think there's a difference between getting knocked back less and having more weight. At least I think it... Yeah... Wait, does metal decrease damage? I don't know, it's really weird. Clear? Just be invisible tail. I, I don't even remember what the tail item does. Rocket belt. Pretty useful. Insanely great recovery. Screw attack. Just basic jump attack. And the back shield. Obviously great for defense. I mean it's a shield. Bunny. So you can run fast. Doesn't say that you can run fast down there at the bottom. But you know I'm assuming. Life Draining Flower, which I, I don't think any of the other games that, or maybe I'm wrong, I haven't prayed for in a while like I've said, but I don't think in any of the other games when you have your health drained by an item, a flower appears on your head, maybe it's just from the flower item, but I don't remember that to be honest. Uh, Mega and Mini. Eh. Uh, Mega, you just deal more damage, I think. You don't weigh more or get knocked back less, which, yeah, I think those are different. Mini, you get knocked back more. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I really don't know about the difference between weight and getting knocked back. Maybe they are the same, I don't know. Maybe I really am just confusing it with taking less damage. I, I have no idea. But anyway, that's all that stuff, so, yeah, there's that. The storm is ending, I am electrocute. Eh, it would be appreciated if you liked this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and all that. That doesn't mean that you have to do any of those things, but like I said, it would be appreciated, and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Goodbye for now.